All right, so you want to know how I did this growing ivy effect in the Tony Snow video? Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I did was track the shot, and then I added in some cubes to right where the windows were supposed to be. Then let's go to add-ons and enable ivy gen. This will appear when you press N on the right side of your screen under the create tab. Next, move your cursor to where you want the ivy to start, and then select the object that you want the ivy to grow on. Then on the right side, click add new ivy. As you can see, it's too short. So we're gonna open that update ivy window, make it longer, click update ivy. That's too long, update it again, there we go. Some other settings that we're gonna change is the branch size to make it a little bit thicker, as well as the leaf probability so we get less leaves. And we're also gonna change the leaf size to be larger. Next step is add in a bezier curve. This is gonna be used to taper the ivy. So then, I named it taper, then go into your ivy curve, select taper object, and then select the bezier curve you just added. The way it works is you scale down each side and it will control how thick the beginning and end of each ivy is. So I made each side a little bit thicker, and then when we remove the leaves, you see we have this nice taper. Make sure you click map taper because that will come into play when we animate it. So then go to start and end mapping. And as you can see, the growing effect is already built into the ivy. And all we have to do is animate it. So press I at a keyframe at the beginning, then go to the end at a keyframe at one at the end. And there you go. We already have this nice growing effect. As you can see, however, when we add the leaves back in, you can see that the leaves don't grow with the ivy. So we're going to have to figure out a way around that. So go into your ivy leaves, add a new material, and I already have mine set up and I'm just gonna show you how it works. I got rid of some leaves here and just moved them down for the sake of demonstration too. All right, so what we have here is we have a gradient texture with a mapping node going into a color ramp, going into a subtract with the leaf images alpha. And what this does is it's gonna give us a nice effect where we can move the point at which the leaves start showing. As you can see, the gradient texture at first is sideways, so we have to give it a little 90 degree tilt on the Y axis, and then we have the nice up and down, which is what we want. Next, you're gonna go and animate the two keyframes at the beginning and the end, and as you can see, the leaves will then appear as the ivy appears. For the ivy material, I did something similar because I didn't want it to grow at the same time I wanted it to move up with the leaves. So I just added in a gradient texture again and animated it. And as you see, it can see, I had a noise texture for some added detail as well. This is optional, but just randomizes it so it doesn't look like the gradient texture is just a straight line moving up the wall. And just like that, you have a nice ivy growing effect. Let me know what else you want to learn, and I'll see if I can do another tutorial soon. Peace on me him, spaghetti, spaghetti, it cost me a honey bun.